I'm not the former number 16 of the Nordique. Now I'm the one who makes weird chairs. Welcome in, everyone. Ready to uncover some hidden gems. Always up for a little treasure hunting. What are we diving into today? Well, today it's less about buried treasure and more about a career path that's anything but ordinary. Ooh, I like where this is going. Lay out me. So we're taking a deep dive into the work of Michelle Goulet. Michelle's story is a great example of how we can forge really unique paths for ourselves. Okay, I'm intrigued. I'll admit the name Michelle Goulet doesn't ring a bell. And that's okay. He might not be a household name, but that's kind of the point. His career journey is anything but ordinary. All right, you've piqued my curiosity. What's so unusual about his career? Well, imagine someone who's worked in culture, tech, education. You name it, he's probably got a story about it. Wow, that's quite the range. It's like he took the idea of a multi-hyphenate career to a whole new level. Exactly. And when I say a range, I mean it. His website mentions cultural development, animation, heritage projects even. Seriously, that's a fascinating mix. You don't see that every day. It really speaks to this whole idea of a portfolio career. Yeah, uh, A portfolio career. Yeah, where you're not defined by just one job title or specialization. Instead, you build this diverse set of skills that can be applied across different fields. That makes a lot of sense. And it sounds like Michel's a perfect example of that. He's got technical skills like sound engineering, video editing. Right. Those are super valuable these days. But then But then on top of that, he's doing graphic design and leading cultural initiatives. It's almost yeah. like, how do those even go together? That's the beauty of transferable skills. You take something like sound engineering, which seems very technical. Yeah. And suddenly that expertise becomes incredibly relevant in say, educational video production, which he's also done. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's about making those connections, seeing how the skills you have in one area might be useful in a totally different field. Exactly. It's about connecting the dots and realizing that your skill set is more versatile than you might think. That's a really cool way to look at it. It's not just about the specific tasks on your resume, but the underlying skills and how you adapt them. You got it. Yeah. And Michelle's career is like a master class in that. He's done audio visual support, IT solutions for education, which can we just talk about how crucial that must have been during the pandemic? Oh, absolutely. Talk about being adaptable. It nice. really makes you wonder, did he always plan to have this kind of multifaceted career? It's a great question. I mean, did he just embrace opportunities as they came up, trusting that his skills would translate? Or was it more intentional than that? It's hard to say for sure, but there are clues in how he describes himself. Oh, like what? Well, for one, he mentions being open to reverse mentoring. Now, that's not something you hear every day. Usually, it's the seasoned professional taking someone newer under their wing. Right. So what do you think that says about Michelle? The fact that he's open to learning from people with less experience. It's got to be a sign that he's really committed to lifelong learning. Like he recognizes that valuable insights can come from anyone, no matter their age or experience level. Which is such an important thing to remember, especially now. The world's changing so fast. We all need to be open to learning new things constantly. That's so true. Makes you wonder who you could be learning from in unexpected places, right? It really is amazing who you can learn from when you open yourself up to it. No kidding. And speaking of unexpected places to find inspiration, can we circle back to Michelle's work in education for a sec? Oh, absolutely. What specifically caught your eye? It's just his website mentions institutional photography, adult teaching, video production for colleges. It's a lot. It really highlights how he moves between these different worlds. You know, it's not just having the skills, but knowing how to use them in different settings, like in education. That's such a good point. I mean, what works in a classroom setting is probably different from, say, a corporate environment. Any clues about how he navigated those differences? Well, we don't have his diary or anything. Right. But his website emphasizes adaptability and flexibility. And I get the sense those aren't just buzzwords for him. They're like core principles. That makes total sense. When, when you're juggling so many different projects, you've got to be able to adapt to new environments and ways of thinking. Exactly. And that adaptability, it's not just for portfolio careers. The world's changing so quickly that being able to learn new skills and pivot is more important than ever. Couldn't agree more. Being a specialist in just one thing isn't enough anymore, is it? Nope. We've got to keep evolving and learning to stay ahead of the curve. Absolutely. And speaking of evolving, can we talk about his website for a minute? Oh, yeah. What about it? It's not easy to make a website that's both visually appealing and de-informative. 
especially with so many different skills on display. Right. It's really well done. You can tell he put a lot of thought into how he presents himself online, which when you have a multifaceted career like his, that's crucial. For sure. If you're a jack of all trades, how do you even begin to showcase all that without overwhelming people? Michelle's mm. website tells a cohesive story, even with all those different threads running through it. That's a skill in itself, right? Being able to connect the dots and present a clear story about who you are and what you offer. It's not just listing achievements. It's about telling a compelling story. It's like they say, right? Your website shouldn't be a brochure. It should be a storybook. Love that. And Michelle's definitely mastered that whole narrative thing. But I'm thinking some folks listening might be a little overwhelmed, you know? Like, okay, that's great for Michelle, but I, I don't have a website showing off my photography to, in my urban gardening hobby. Uh, right, right. It can feel a little daunting. So how do you even start connecting those dots, those passions that seem totally unrelated? It's a great question. And honestly, that's the whole point of these deep dives, isn't it? It is. It's not about copying someone else's path, but finding the principles, the underlying ideas that we can apply to our own lives. So less about the website itself. Okay. More about your own personal story. Yeah. What threads run through your experiences, even if they seem totally random at first glance. Ooh, I like that. Because maybe that urban gardening thing does connect to your corporate job in ways you haven't even thought about. Exactly. Maybe it's sustainability, community building, a fresh perspective. You'd be surprised. It's about recognizing those skills, those experiences as valuable, even if they haven't traditionally been seen that way. 100%. And the first step is just acknowledging them, saying, hey, this is part of who I am and it matters. Such a good point. Own your story. Own your unique set of skills and passions. Okay, so let's say you've figured out those threads, those things you really love. What's next? It's easy to get stuck there, right? Like, yeah. should I go back to school, quit my job, and become a beekeeper? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It doesn't have to be all or nothing, right? Right. Start small. What's one little step you can take today? Want to explore a skill? Reach out to someone for an informational interview. Take a workshop. Even just spend 30 minutes learning something new. Baby steps. Progress over perfection. Exactly. You don't need to have it all figured out to start moving forward. So true. And who knows? Maybe that urban gardening project turns into a collaboration with a local business. Or your photography skills become valuable at work in ways you never imagined. You just never know. It's about being open to those unexpected opportunities, those plot twists in your own career story. Michelle's journey proves that sometimes the most fulfilling paths are the ones we make ourselves. He's such a great example of how saying yes to different experiences, to learning new things, can lead to a really unique and fulfilling career. This whole conversation has been so inspiring. It reminds us that we're capable of so much more than we sometimes realize. There's no one right way to build a career, is there? Not at all. It's about finding those passions, those unique skills, being open to new things, and never ever stopping learning. Couldn't have said it better myself. Well, that about does it for this deep dive into the world of Michelle Goulet. Until next time, everyone, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep diving deep. Michelle Goulet is my name. I teach ecology, cultural debate.